Praise be Jesus Christ, dear lovers of the Word of God, welcome to Andin Heat. Happy Feast of the Pentecost! Today we celebrate the birth of the Church. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, who strengthens us, is the sign of God's abiding presence. Let us listen to Father Randy Raagas as he deepens our understanding of today's Gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Brothers and sisters, the good news for our salvation. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of Pentecost. After seven Sundays of Easter, we now celebrate Pentecost, the descent of the Holy Spirit to the Apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. And at the same time, Pentecost is a wonderful celebration of the birthday of the Church. And since we are the Church, you, me, all of us baptized, it is our birthday. And so, let us greet everyone. Happy birthday. In our gospel, we have Jesus appearing before the frightened disciples. Take note that the apostles were hiding. For them, it is all over. Jesus, having been, having been arrested, crucified, and buried, it's all over now. What they have is desperation. And here comes Jesus appearing before them, telling them, Peace be with you. Twice he said that. We could just imagine the rejoicing of the apostles. The one who was dead is now alive. And other than that, Jesus gave them something. Jesus breathed on them and gave them his spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit, he said, whose sins you are forgiven, they are forgiven them. Brothers and sisters, it is important to know for us the significance of the solemnity of Pentecost. Because on Pentecost Day, the Holy Spirit is with us. In fact, in baptism, each one of us had received the Holy Spirit. 
Jesus, though he ascended into heaven, did not abandon us. He gave us his spirit. He remains with us. And in this journey from this earth to heaven, in this pilgrimage, we are walking not alone. Because Jesus, his spirit, is with our side. This, this should give us a boast. Other than that, remember, the work of God the Father as Creator is over. The work of the Son as Redeemer is finished. The work of the Holy Spirit as Sanctifier is still on today until the end of the world. It is the day, it is the era of the Holy Spirit. And this Spirit, other than accompanying us, in us, this Holy Spirit, our beloved Holy Spirit, our loving Holy Spirit, gives us the power, the strength against our enemies, the wiles of the devil. The Holy Spirit is power, power from on high. He strengthens us. He makes us wise from the temptations of the devil. Most importantly, the Holy Spirit gives us love. The true ingredient of heaven is the one being given to us by the Holy Spirit. In this world where there is discord, there is hatred, there is envy, there is enmity, hostilities, this loving Spirit of the Lord teaches us on a daily basis to live a life of love. And so, as we celebrate Pentecost Day, let us be courageous, praying, Come, Holy Spirit. Fill the hearts of thy faithful. Kindle in them the fire of your love. And thou shalt be created. Thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Invocation to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, through the intercession of the Queen of Pentecost, heal my mind of lack of reflection. Ignorance, forgetfulness, obstinacy, prejudice, error, perversion, and form wisdom. Jesus Christ, truth in everything. Heal my heart of indifference, diffidence, bad inclinations, passions, overly sentimental feelings, attachments, and form good taste, feelings, inclinations, Jesus Christ, life in everything. Heal my will of lack of willpower, fickleness, inconstancy, sloth, stubbornness, bad habits, and form Jesus Christ way in me. New love for whatever Jesus Christ loves and for Jesus Christ himself. Uplift in a godlike way, intelligence with the gift of understanding, wisdom with the gift of wisdom, knowledge with the gift of knowledge, Prudence with the gift of counsel, justice with the gift of piety, strength with the gift of spiritual strength, temperance with the gift of fear of the Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, Father Randy, for that inspiring reflection. Indeed, the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, 
will let us live a life that is in accordance to the will of the Father, that is, if we believe. Sisters and brothers, if you want to request for prayers, message us at www.facebook.com slash Tacloban slash May we all be filled with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Good day everyone, I'm Sister Pauline of the Daughters of St. Paul. Welcome to the first series of Nonsense, the Gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit belong in their fullness to Christ, the Son of David. They complete and perfect the virtues of those who receive them. They make the faithful docile to readily obeying divine inspirations. Wisdom Improves our loving knowledge of God and all that leads to and comes from Him, allowing us to enjoy His presence. Understanding perfects our perception of the mysteries of the faith, enabling us to penetrate more deeply into the divine truths revealed by God. Counsel helps us to judge promptly correctly and according to the will of God. Fortitude makes us steadfast in the faith, constant in struggle, and faithful in perseverance. Knowledge enables us to discover the supernatural truth contained in God's creation and reveals the path that we should follow on our journey to heaven. Piety teaches us the meaning of divine filiation, leading to a true love for God as our Father and for all human beings as His children. Fear of the Lord increases our sense of respect in the presence of an all-powerful and loving God. 